just massive destruction. You ever seen anything like it? No, sir. That's my first tornado. Hope it's my last. But Colette and Pam were in the house when it got hit. 25 years ago, in a house on this hill, Sherry Strothide's two sisters were running for cover. And they got into the bathtub, covered up with every blanket and pillow in the house. And then it hit. The tornado destroyed all but two rooms in the whole residence. The bedroom right next to the bathroom that they were happened to be in, and the bathroom they were in. Her sisters were lucky, and they lived. And her mother and father were in a different part of town, so the family was able to reunite a short time later. I jumped out of the truck my girlfriend was driving and ran to my mom. But it was just a matter of time before the true horror of the destruction started to set in. As families started the cleanup process, they found some of the souls who didn't make it. Everybody who helped clean up, I know for a fact, saw more than they needed to see. Um, I know I saw a couple things that I wish I never would have saw. And Strodehide and her family then started to hear of the other people they lost. Uh, my kids, they're, they're two best friends that they always played with when they came to visit my mom. They were killed. And then I found out that one of my good friends that I, I, I worked with was killed. And I found out through that, through the radio. And now, 25 years later, even living in another state, she still remembers the day, whether she wants to or not. Long after the memorials have passed and the pictures have been tucked away, the sadness remains. Every year on that day, whether I think about it or not, somewhere in me, I know that day. Strothide says she still feels a weariness and a depression that may never go away. A reminder of the true wrath that nature can bring. The Gerald tornado showed us what can happen, whether it happens again or not around us. We are very aware of what they can do.